defense and aggressive offense, taking it inside. You know, it's, it's really a challenge, Dave, the second game. You play the first round game either a Thursday or Friday, depending on what region you are. You have four days to get ready. It's kind of orderly. You have a couple practices. Your team knows what's going on. You heard Tommy, uh, Tommy Lloyd and, and Anthony Grant talking before the game. They know the other team. For that second game, Saturday and Sunday, it's more about what you do. If you don't have enough time to get ready for your opponent, you kind of fall back on, look, this is what we do. Santos made the first and the second. Now full court pressure by Dayton. The game tied at four. 18-21 to play. First half. Baseline left. Love throws to midcourt. Keyshaw Johnson. Now a two-on-one. Johnson drives down the middle of the lane and missed the dunk. And the ball came all the way to midcourt. Saved by Pella Larson from going out of bounds. Throw into the middle of the lane for Ballo. Off balance shot. No. Johnson rebounds. Back up and in. It came with a double team on Ballo. He shot an off balance shot. That's why he missed it. But there was nobody left to box out. Keyshawn Johnson almost tore the rim down on that dunk attempt. That might have been a one shining moment candidate had that gone down. Entry pass right side to Deron Holmes. Brings it back out to the three point line right. 6 4 Arizona. Holmes spins into a double. Throws to the far side. Cheeks. Inside the arc to Holmes on the right wing. Good defense, Arizona. Holmes blows past Ballo. Gets into the lane and finishes with a gorgeous left-hand hook. Second time, Dayton's used most of the shot clock. And in the last four or five seconds, the All-American bailed him out. Lob pass Ballo. Made the catch in the low block left. It was fouled by Holmes. That's the first on Dayton. Game tied at 6, 7.24 to go. First half. Both teams featuring their bigs early. Deron Holmes on the dribble. Umar posting up inside. Boswell to inbound under the Arizona basket to our right. Gets the love in the left corner. Dribbles to the elbow. Pass deflected, but ends up to Ballo. He's tripled, so he sends it out to Love in the left wing. He'll let it fly from three, and it's good. Caleb Love with five points early on. To put it mildly, that is a huge relief for Arizona. Caleb Love knocking down a three. 9-6 Wildcats, three minutes in. Dayton ball, front court to our left, Elvis, three-point line right, drives, gets past his man and scores with a right-hand layup off the glass. Both teams very effective offensively early. 9-8, Arizona, three minutes and 15 seconds in. Lob pass to Ballo, over his head, out of bounds. Boy, every possession, they are trying to hit Ballo on the low left block. Again, I'm repeating myself already, but... Arizona has a tendency to throw the ball away. They were only eighth in the Pac-12 in turnovers. Not a huge number, 11.9, but more than you would like. And already two in this game. 9-8, they lead. Dayton ball, front court to our left. Isaac Jack checking in, so an early rest for Holmes. Left wing Santos about 15 feet away. Backs down Boswell, out to Cheeks. They swing it around the perimeter with nine to shoot. On the right wing is Elvis, gets to the elbow, launches as he's falling away and missed the shot. It's poked out, and Caleb Love has it on the far side. Swings it to Boswell, getting it across the timeline. Boswell shaking his right hand, might be injured. Yeah, he's hurt. He continues to shake as he passes with his left hand. He's looking, he's got palm in front of his face, looking at him. He just fell on it or got hurt. Kishan almost lost it inside. Johnson, right baseline, tries a three, around and out, and it's rebounded by Correa. Boswell still looking at his right hand. 9-8 Arizona, 15-45 to play first half. Entry pass to Jack White Elbow, doesn't even look to score. Kicks it back out to Elvis up the hash mark. Elvis on the right baseline, puts up the shot, missed it, follow rebounds, and then throws it away, far side out of bounds, on the outlet pass to Love. Three turnovers already for the Wildcats. I like the start, though. These two teams are going at each other. I think we're going to have a heck of a ball game. We've got 15-33 to play in the first half, 9-8. to eight. Wildcats lead the Flyers for the Westwood 1 NCAA Radio Network. This is the men's basketball tournament. ABC seed, let's make some a little sweeter. Wrap your home in quality and a lifetime warranty. Steel siding without the seams for the home of your dreams. When it comes to your home, you deserve the best. ABC's the best. ABC seed, let's make some a little sweeter. Hey, Monica. 
Guess what month it is. I know, I know. It's your birthday month. Oh, yeah, it is my birthday month, but it's also the big basketball tournament. And you know what they both have in common. Fuzzy's Taco Shop? Yes, Fuzzy's Taco Shop is where I have my birthday party every year. And they have so many TVs in there, you can watch all the games. One of their famous margaritas, and of course, the nachos. You and those nachos. Have you ever even finished one? There's just so much. Let's head to Fuzzy's now. Fuzzy's Taco Shop, North Vine Street in Hay. Let's get buzzed up. Get ready for a squeaky clean adventure at Tommy's Express Car Wash in Hayes. With warm weather on the way, it's time to drive your car around Hayes in style. And at Tommy's, new subscribers can get a month of car washes absolutely free. Just download the app, put your details in, and choose the plan that gets you excited. Yep, and then view your free month during checkout. And then it's up to you to wash your vehicle, well... Whenever you want with Tommy's Unlimited Car Washes. Get on your phone and get signed up right now. Tommy's Express Car Wash, Pine Street, hey. Mom, do we have tacos tonight? It's raining tacos. Wait, we want pizza. Yeah, pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. 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 How about Papa Murphy's? Yum, 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 yum. Papa Murphy's is the best. Watching them spread the sauce is so satisfying. You're weird. I like watching them put the toppings on. What kind of toppings should we get? Beef, pepperoni, bacon, sausage. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Okay, okay. Let's decide when we get there. Order online for fast, convenient pickup and use the drive-thru. Or order inside. Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza on 27th in Hayes. It's an app. Wendy's the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. A passion. P.J. Carlissimo, 9-8. Arizona leads Dayton, 15-33 to play. Anthony Grant got Deron Holmes out quickly. He committed a foul. They called it inside. May just be his normal rest. He only played 32 minutes the other day in a very close game. But I also think he wants to see how the refs are going to call it. And he certainly doesn't want to see Deron Holmes with two fouls early trying to defend following the post. So uh, let Isaac Jack uh, feel out the refs and be physical with Paolo, who's now on the bench himself. And a bad pass ends up in a steal for Keyshaw Johnson and a highlight dunk on the other end. Didn't miss the dunk that time. He could have walked in and made a jump stop. Waited for a second and dunked it. That's how much time he had. So it's 11-8 Arizona now. A traveling violation on Cheeks in midcourt as they get it across the timeline. Two quick turnovers. Boy, the defensive intensity for Arizona is there. Now it's 3-3 turnovers. It was 3-1 about 15 seconds ago. Two quick Dayton turnovers. Javon Bennett on the floor. That sixth starter that we talked about for the Dayton Flyers. Jaden Bradley, backup point guard in the game, replacing Boswell, brings it across the timeline. Got to wonder about that right hand to Boswell, which he got banged up when he was out there early in the game. Larson on the top of the key, drives left-hand dribble, stops in the paint, goes up from about five feet, and call for traveling. Four wow. turnovers by Arizona. I don't know. Tommy Lloyd is asking Brett Wells. I'm not sure he did either. I thought he had the left foot down as a pivot foot, but Brett Wells called it right away. We've got seven turnovers in five minutes of play. And eight baskets. Three-point lead for Arizona, 14.45 to go first half. In between the circles is Bennett. Deron Holmes back on the floor. Bennett left wing. Goes away from the screen. Stops on the left side. Back out to Brea. Shot clock at 10. Brea on the far side of the hash mark. Bounce pass to Holmes, top of the circle, drives on Priebus, spins, falls away, shoots and misses from 12 feet. Rebound Bradley of U of A. Bradley into the front court, far side in front of the Dayton bench. Dribble handoff for Keyshawn Johnson. Arizona, the Pac-12 regular season champs. Larson straight away, lobs for Priebus, good catch down low left, pump fake, goes around, misses. And then actually fell on the rim and came in, as that looked like was going to go off the rim to the left, and it ended up going right, and in 13-8 Arizona. Boy, Gerard Holmes got to be careful. That easily could have been his second foul. It was very aggressive against Grievous. Elvis on the right wing of the front court to Santos up top. Dayton hasn't even attempted a three yet. Driving left side and a block by Krivis. Loose ball. Johnson has it. Krivis definitely got a piece of that. Johnson up the floor. Stops at the top of the key. Krivis posting up. They're trying to get it to him. Bradley now driving down the lane. His layup is no good, but he's fouled and he'll go to the line with 13.35 to go first half. You look out on the floor, Arizona's just a bigger team. They're, they're longer, they're also heavier. There's more strength 
There's more size there. We talked about it. I thought it would be a challenge for Dayton to run offense against the physical defense, but they're doing all right on that end. It's more this end where that size is making a difference. Arizona's overpowering them a little bit. First foul on Santos, second team foul. Jaden Bradley, who was the only bench player to score for Arizona in the first round, he had eight points. He knocks down the first free throw. This year, select March Madness games are streaming on Max. Follow the whole tournament, and then don't miss the men's Final Four streaming on Max April 6th and 8th. Now with the three-guard lineup, you got the two young guys uh, on the floor, K.J. Lewis and Jaden Bradley, but uh, interestingly enough, they came in for Keisha Johnson. So you got Love, Bradley, and Lewis on the floor, really three guards against a uh, smaller Dayton lineup. And the free throw is good, and a 6 nothing run. Arizona leads 15-8, to 13 and a half to go. Scoring drought of three and a half minutes for Dayton. Elvis, left side, drives the lane, and his shot is rejected by Caleb Love, out of bounds, baseline left. Love stood over him yeah, after that. Be, I was just going to say the same thing, David. He, you don't want to get a taunting play. He didn't really say anything, but he kind of stood there and arched his back. Uh, stood, stood right on top of him, but an excellent defensive play by Caleb Love. He's really playing well in the first six and a half minutes. He's got five points, a block and a steal. Devon Holmes with the ball in between the circles. They have not really been looking to even shoot from the perimeter. No attempt still from three. Long possessions also controlling the tempo, I think, intentionally. Brea lost it with three seconds on the shot clock. Another Dayton turnover. He coughs it up at midcourt. Pella Larson brings it across. And off for Love. Skip to Lewis. Now Bradley on the left wing with 12.55 to go. Arizona up seven. Love drives right side. Stops to the elbow. Pulls the trigger. It's good. Swishing through. Caleb Love is hot. Three for three. And Caleb Love and Kyle Boswell are knocking down shots in the perimeter. You're in big trouble trying to defend the Wildcats. This start for Arizona looks a lot like what we saw in many of their games where they won by 40 or 50, and they had a lot of those this year. Driving right side, kick to Bray on left wing. He'll hoist the three. It's not close. An air ball. Out of bounds. Arizona ball leading 17 8 with 12.26 to go. First four minutes to the media timeout. We're kind of back and forth, very even. It has not been even since that timeout. It's been all Wildcats and sloppy Dayton offense. Four minutes and 35 seconds without a point for Dayton. Three turnovers during that span and 0 for 6 from the floor. Eight straight points for the Wildcats. Larson on the right wing drives, goes baseline, stops, leans in, puts up the shot. No good, and it's rebounded by Padigamus of Dayton. Across the timeline is Elvis. Ron Holmes was late getting up the floor. Now he's got it, left-hand dribble near side. Hands for Brea, works to the top of the key. Swing it around right side for Bennett. He'll put up the three from there. Off the back rim, no, and Krivis with a good blockout gets the board. It's almost five and a half minutes now without a point for Dayton. Love for three left side. No good. That was a brick. Rebound Holmes. Might have shoved Krivis out of the way. And at the front court comes Bennett. To our left. On the far side. Drives. His pass deflected by K.J. Lewis to midcourt. But Dayton keeps. Right side Brea. His team down nine. He'll shoot for three. It's good. And that ends a drought of five and a half minutes without a point. Very big three right there. It's early, but they, Dayton Flyers really needed that basket. 17 to 11, Arizona. 11 minutes remaining. Bounce pass broken up by Holmes. Baseline right turnover. Two on one, Dayton. Elvis pulls up for three on the far side. And it spins out. Rebound, Crevis. Outlet to Love in the front court on the right wing. He's going to drive. Trying to go baseline. Back out to Larson, pump fake. Larson drives to the foul line. To the left corner now, Lewis. His three is up and good. Arizona back up nine, 10 45 to go, first half. Dave, if we were at McHale in Tucson right now, the roof would be blown off the place. Arizona, 62% shooting, 20 to 11, the Wildcats lead. Left wing is Bennett, bounced to Holmes, left baseline. Spins, and he was bumped by Crevis. That is just the second foul in Arizona and the first on Crevis. Little surge there by Dayton. They needed it going into this timeout. 10-28 left first half. 20-11. to 11. Arizona very much in command right now. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. 
a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt, but I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Now, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing it, my impossibly smooth skin will finally be safe. Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the Just Capital seal. Bank of America is ranked number one for ongoing commitment to their workers with initiatives like Sharing Success, which awarded 97% of their teammates additional compensation, nearly all in stock. This is the program's seventh consecutive year, awarding more than $4.8 billion in total. Visit JustCapital.com to learn how a just business is a better business. Furnished by Just Capital. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. So we build specially adapted homes at Homes for Our Troops. And thanks to our donors and supporters, this life-changing gift of freedom is provided mortgage-free to these veterans. But we need you to join us, too, in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Hi, I'm Kelsey Grammer. Wounded Warrior Project supports injured veterans by connecting them with fellow warriors, by serving them through mental health and wellness programs, and by empowering them to live on their own terms. No one should face a battle alone. Join us at WoundedWarriorProject.org. Hi, I'm Kelsey Grammer. Wounded Warrior Project supports injured veterans by connecting them with fellow warriors, by serving them through mental health and wellness programs, and by empowering them to live on their own terms. No one should face a battle alone. Join us at WoundedWarriorProject.org. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, your home for the national championships. Your home for all the NCAA action in Hayes and Great Bend is KXNC Nest City 104.7 KISS FM. Dave Pash and PJ Carlissimo at our Granger courtside seats at the Delta Center. When you need products in a pinch, Granger's got you covered. Get same-day pickup and next-day delivery in most orders. Call, click Granger.com or stop by to get what your business needs. Sloppy early. Arizona, five turnovers. Dayton, four, but all the other numbers favor the Wildcats. Six to two points off turnovers. Ten four points in the paint for Arizona. Seven zip. Arizona bench points being tilting strongly towards the West Coast right now. He knocked Cheeks three turnovers for Dayton. Kobe Elvis, the other guard, one for five from the floor. Oswell still on the bench for Arizona. Got to wonder about that shooting hand. Dayton ball, front court to our left. Ten minutes to go. 20 to 11. Arizona leads by nine. Winner goes to Los Angeles in the Sweet 16. Thursday night, big one. Brea at midcourt, moves to his right, puts up a three, and drills it. So Brea off to a good start. He led the country in three-point shooting. That was at the hash mark. He's got 98 made threes and shoots right at 50% from three-point range. 1-3-1 defense for the Flyers out of the timeout. 20-14 to 14 Arizona, right wing love. He'll try to answer from three. And it goes in. Boy, wow. that was an awkward bounce, but it went in. And Love has 10 points. As Caleb Love goes, the Wildcats go. He's 4 of 5 and 2 of 3 from 3 in the lead. Back to 9. 9.5 to go. 23 to 14. Wildcats. Holmes at midcourt. Had a, make a jump pass because of the excellent defense. Brea right side to Santos on the perimeter to the left. And now Santos shoots and misses the triple. Rebound on the right corner, Lewis, but he stepped out of bounds trying to save it. It will remain with the Flyers. Arizona switching that dribble handoff. But the problem when you switch on a guy like Santos, it's almost like going underneath the screen. He's got a quick look at a three, and you cannot let him shoot threes. Well, they fixed the nets. I wonder what they did to the rims looking at that Caleb Love. I've never seen a ball bounce like that the way it did off the back iron as we have a foul in Arizona on the inbound pass. Remind you of uh, any ball bouncing yesterday in the Colorado game? Yes. <laughs> what a great win for Tad Boyle's team. Two wins already. So many of the West Coast media didn't believe in the strength of Pac-12 basketball. Their mistakes are showing up right now. They're doing very, very well. 
Third team foul in Arizona. First on Lewis. Dayton ball. Holmes on the left wing. Guarded by Ballo. Shot clock at five. Holmes kicks it out. Deflected by Johnson. Couldn't save it on the near sideline. 3.7 seconds to shoot for Dayton. Boy, Arizona's defense been outstanding early on. Excellent ball pressure. Excellent contest in the lane. Not denying entry passes. Dayton getting a substitution in as Isaac Jack comes out. Holmes will play center. They had both bigs on the floor there. Santos can inbound literally in front of us here. 3.7 to shoot. You hear him pounding the ball, looking to throw it in. And he fires far side to Bennett, drives middle of the lane, and his floater is blocked, but a foul is called. Well, it looked like a good block live, but they're going to say that Ballo actually got uh, his body into the shoot. after, then nice penetration, smallest guy on the floor. He got him his body. Uh, Umar came over to block the shot, and, and really, uh, his body hit Bennett's shoulder, but really good penetration with very little time on the clock. I'll tell you what, Dayton's had, I'm going to say, four possessions already where their field goal attempt occurred in the last five seconds of the shot clock. They're down 23-14 at the nine-minute mark. They're shooting five of 14 from the floor. The first free throw from Bennett bounces in. Boswell's back out there, replacing Bradley for Arizona. Later on, we'll select the play of the day, sponsored by Old Spice, introducing Old Spice Total Body Deodorant Spray, giving you 24-7 freshness from pitch to toes with daily use. Second free throw good, 23-16, Arizona. Alan Boswell back on the floor, no tape, no evidence. Justin Kukoski, the longtime trainer for Tucson, I'm sure, did a little something, but there's no evidence of a problem. Boswell has the ball in the backboard. Three-quarter court pressure by Dayton. Boswell brings it across the timeline. Now Dayton drops back into that zone. And Boswell is going to shoot the deep three. It's way off the mark. Lewis with the save. Tried to throw it off a Dayton player. Ends up in the hands of Love on the right side. Shot clock at 10. Love right wing going to put it up. And it's good from three. Caleb Love with three threes and 13 points. It's a 10-point Arizona lead. Well, he passed up two threes earlier in the possession. Good ball movement by the team that is one of the best passing teams in NCAA basketball. And this is why Caleb Love was the Pac-12 player of the year. Eight-minute mark. Arizona up 10. Chief stops left elbow, shoots off the back rim. No, got his own miss. Goes back up with the left hand, low left, missed again. Rebound Johnson for Arizona. She struggled to finish against Nevada inside. Lewis bounces to Johnson, left baseline, fires underneath to Bala, low right for a lay-in. Timeout Dayton starting to maybe get away from the Flyers. The lead up to 12 now for Arizona with 7.57 left in the first half. Gotta love the ball movement from the Wildcats. No surprise, they led the back 12, number two in the entire NCAA in assists. 28-16, Arizona. 7.57 to play first half. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but it's waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now, you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus, with our March 31-day sales event, you can save $377 off every window and $777 dollars off every door when you buy four or more units just text march to 200 300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down no monthly payments and no interest for a year that's right you don't pay a dime for an entire year text march to 200 300 to save 377 dollars off every window and 777 dollars off every door when you buy four or more units hurry this incredible 31 day sales offer is only in march text march to 200 300 text the word march to 200 300 march to 200 300 on the battlefield, there's a saying America's military men and women live by. Never leave a fallen warrior behind, ever. Off the battlefield, Wounded Warrior Project operates with the same goal. Wounded Warrior Project was created to help our men and women returning home with the scars of war, whether those scars are physical or mental. Wounded Warrior Project, we never leave a fallen warrior behind, ever. 
Learn more about what we do at WoundedWarriorProject.org. Finding quality candidates for your small business is no little league game, but Indeed can help you cover all your hiring bases. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. Jason Horowitz, Doug Gottlieb, back with you in our Westwood One Studios. 28-16, Arizona beaten Dayton. And uh, Doug, P.J. Carlisso made, made the point three minutes into the game. Caleb Love has not played well the last four or five games. Different story today. Different story today, and I think Arizona has gotten away from what their game plan was coming in to throw the ball inside to Omar Ballo. They're just it's he's not a great offensive threat, and I think they wanted to wear out Deron Holmes, maybe get him in foul trouble. And after that, it's like yeah, let's just go to Caleb Love and let him take over. That seems to be working pretty well. About to get back going in Salt Lake City. Be sure to stay with us for the Wendy's NCAA tournament halftime report. We'll get you ready for game number two. Between Gonzaga and Kansas. It's all coming up at the half. Sponsored by Wendy's. The official hamburger of March Madness. Back to Salt Lake City. Dave Pash and BJ Carlissimo. He needs to carry this team a little bit right now. I think we need more Coming up next here from Salt Lake. It's Gonzaga and Kansas in the Midwest region. Second round game. Winner to Detroit. Winner of this game goes to L.A. Here's a touch for Holmes. Three-pointer straight away. Off the back rim, no. Rebound Larson for Arizona. Larson brings it up the floor, lob for Ballo, deep catch low right, powers his way up, and throws it down against Holmes. Omar never left the lane, Kelly Larson just dribbled up through the lob to the rim. Arizona shooting close to 70% and leading by 14. Floater on the way in the middle of the lane, no good for Bennett, and then he takes it away from Keyshaw Johnson who had the rebound. Elvis wide open, three on the right side, in and out, Boswell taps it to Keyshaw Johnson. He's had some good looks from three. It's not going down. That's what they do very well. They're two for eight. Arizona ball. Larson high post left for the ball move. The execution for Arizona flawless so far. Ball will get a lot of deep touches. Now he's on the perimeter. Throws to Boswell left wing. Driving. Went off the foot of Holmes. Out of bounds. Wasn't a kick though. So the shot clock's at seven. Game clock at 654. We got a timeout. He's had some penetration, but they've been unable to finish against the link inside of Arizona. Having watched Arizona a lot in person this year, this looks like when Arizona was at its best, this is exactly what we saw. They lead 30-16. to 16. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. While retinitis pigmentosa takes Mark's vision, his family gives him hope. Whether at the family business or at home with his wife and sons, he knows he's not fighting alone. For 50 years, the Foundation Fighting Blindness has funded research into treatments and cures for blinding retinal diseases, providing hope to people with vision loss. And for Mark, winning the fight means being there for his family. The Foundation Fighting Blindness. Together, we're winning. Help us end blinding diseases at fightingblindness.org. It's NCAA Championship time. Fans of the hustle. Present. Fans of the heart. Present. Fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Present. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad voices the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA Championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. While retinitis pigmentosa takes Mark's vision, his family gives him hope. Whether at the family business or at home with his wife and sons, he knows he's not fighting alone. For 50 years, the Foundation Fighting Blindness has funded research into treatments and cures for blinding retinal diseases, providing hope to people with vision loss. And for Mark, winning the fight means being there for his family. The Foundation Fighting Blindness. Together, we're winning. Help us end blinding diseases at fightingblindness.org. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to Oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, 
visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. 7-0 Arizona run, 30-16 lead with 6.54 to play in the first half. Download the official NCAA March Madness Live app. You can listen to every Westwood One broadcast of men's basketball tournament for free. Just look for the headphones icon on any live game. If you're in the car, it seamlessly integrates with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Get the official NCAA March Madness Live app today. Ron Holmes, again, you see the mobility. I, I think what a lot of the NBA teams are trying to figure out, can he be a three or is he uh, a, a stretch four type player? Uh, Danny Ainge, the CEO of Basketball Ops for the Utah Jazz, J Justin Sandy, their general manager, sitting in front row. And I know a bunch of Wildcats they're looking at as Umar catches it in the paint and loses his balance. They call it travel. He was about to dunk it, but when he came down from catching the lob, he lost his footing, but finishing that thought, uh, NBA teams try to look at a number of players in this game, Ron Holmes, the one that I think there's still some uncertainty, he's a heck of a player, but what position? Elvis drives right baseline, goes under the basket, stops, bounces to Holmes, middle of the lane, goes up and lost the ball, but knocked out of bounds by Arizona. Fortunately, I thought he lost it. He was under the basket with a good look, although Tommy Lloyd is wearing out one of the other officials. Shot clock at 12, Dayton looking to inbound. Gray, a left corner. He'll shoot quickly, and the three's no good. Holmes with a tip, banks it in, and it's 30 to 18, and it's a 7 nothing Wildcat run. Yeah, he didn't bring it down. He caught it with two hands really up in the air and knocked it off the glass. He's got six points, a couple of rebounds. Bradley, top of the key, dribbles right of the lane, out to Paulo at the foul line. He'll drive left side, spin to his right hand, goes up with a hook, and knocks it down from eight feet. That's like talking about Caleb Love's threes when Umar's making 10, 12-foot shots. It's going to be a long afternoon for the opposition. Arizona shooting 68% from the floor and a 14-point lead, 5.50 to go, first half. Holmes up top, jab step, thought about the three, now gets it back out to Elvis. Elvis really struggling. One of six from the floor is yet to enter the building. Sorry. Holmes driving baseline left. Lost it out of bounds. Almost the same play. He got caught in traffic and just couldn't gather to go up over the bigger baller. Some full core, well, three-quarter court pressure now. 540 remaining here in the opening half. Arizona 32, Dayton 18. Dayton shooting 29%. They have only one more basket than turnovers in this first half. Bradley with the ball in the front court to our right. Arizona milking the clock here off the ball of screen. Bradley moving to his right. Shot clock down to 12. Hello Larson top of the key. Larson fires to the left side. Johnson. Out to Bradley with a timer at six. He's on the elbow left. Pulls up from there. His shot is off target. Rebounded by Santos of Dayton. Across the timeline and a dribble handoff for Bennett. Now Holmes at the hash mark far side. Five minute mark. Driving right side Santos. And his shot off the window is good as he drove and got it to go. It was a little too easy. He just went in and met very little resistance. 32 to 20. 450 on the clock first half. Arizona leading. Winner to the Sweet 16 in L.A. Oswell left side. Going baseline. Gets under the basket. Throws right corner. And a nice attempt at a steal by Brea, but he stepped out of bounds in the right corner, so it will stay with Arizona, 12 on the shot clock. Thursday night matchup in L.A. will be against the winner of number three, Baylor, number six, Clemson. That's going to be a pretty good game. Baylor will beat Colgate in the first round. Sorry about that, Peach. Yeah, my son's team was, uh, they ran into a buzzsaw. Baylor can't play much better than they played, but pretty much say the same thing about Clemson also. Love inbounding baseline right. Just got it inbounds to Larson right side. And a rainbow three is good from Larson. He hesitated, put it up, and drained it. His first points. And it's a 15-point lead for Arizona. What an excellent offensive team the Wildcats are. And underrated defensively. They look very much prepared for this moment. Elvis drives. His shot blocked by Larson. Or rather by Ballo. And now numbers for Love and the Wildcats. Larson right side. Leans in. Big shot. Good. And the lead is up to 17 for the Wildcats with four minutes to go in the first half. Anthony Grant has his hand up like a policeman telling his guys relax. He's trying to get to this four-minute timeout without using another one of his timeouts. Straight on three. Swishes through for Deron Holmes. A big basket. 
37-23, Arizona. It's the second time today. Earlier it was Santos when they really needed a bucket. They knocked down a three. Right side is Bradley driving, goes into the lane, hangs, missed it. Late whistle, foul called on Dayton. That is team foul number three on the Flyers. It's on Santos. That's his second personal foul. So we got a timeout, 344 left in the first half. Arizona 37, Dayton 23. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20 volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20 volt max power stack battery two pack free. A $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of Deck Plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last, selection varies by location. Finding quality candidates for your small business is no Little League game, but Indeed can help you cover all your hiring bases. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Mix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. The less your business spends, the more margin you keep. But today, everything costs more. So smart businesses are graduating to NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system, bringing accounting, financial management, inventory, HR into one proven platform, helping you reduce IT costs, maintenance costs, and manual errors. Over 37,000 companies have already made the move to NetSuite. Now through April 15th, NetSuite is offering a -a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash hoops right now. NetSuite.com slash hoops. Ball four, take your base. The only thing worse than a pitcher running out of gas on the mound is your old phone running out of storage for your photos in the stands. Goodbye, home run! Switch to Verizon and get a great deal on a new iPhone 15 Pro with tons of storage for all the ballpark picks you want. Just trade in your iPhone, any model, in any condition, so you'll feel like you're winning, even when your team's not. Trade in any iPhone in any condition for a great deal on iPhone 15 Pro with Unlimited Ultimate and get iPad and Apple Watch SE with eligible service plan, only on Verizon. Be a VIP with the NCAA experience at the 2024 Men's Basketball Regional Rounds for premium March Madness tickets and exclusive hospitality access. A VIP experience for the VIP fan. Visit ncaa.com slash VIP. The competition level is different, but Dayton was in this position in round one against Nevada. Trail by 17 with seven and a half minutes to go. Yeah. Came back to win. It looked like Nevada was in complete control of the game as it looks like Arizona is right now, but this one would concern me more. If I'm Anthony Grant, it's 14 points right now. We got 3:44 to go in the first, but they're on the free throw line for two more. You wonder, is this game headed to 20 by halftime, which Arizona would love, or is Dayton going to rally a little bit and get it down towards 10, which is what Anthony Grant for sure just talked to his team about. Caleb Love has been sensational. 13 points, five of six, three of four from three, has two assists, a steal, a block. At the line is Jaden Bradley shooting two. Make your pick. Kylan Boswell's the only Wildcat that hasn't scored as Bradley makes the first one. So they've been 50 40 90. People talk about that being a tremendous benchmark. Arizona 68% from the field, 63 from three, and 100% from the free throw line. Bradley missed the second, though. Rebound Holmes. 15 point lead. 38 23. Three and a half to go in the first half. Santos with the ball on the left wing. Dayton just 3 for 10 from 3. They struggled in the first half from 3 against Nevada as well. Left side, Bennett. Looking to dump it down low. Good defense by Larson, so Bennett drops. Kicks to the right baseline. Santos spins, and it's poked away by Bradley. A forced turnover, Arizona. Bradley in the front court drives in. Off-balance layup. Going left to right is no good. Rebound, Holmes. Good pass ahead by Love to get a transition opportunity. Right corner, Cheeks puts it up, missed the three. Grievous rebounds, one and done again for Dayton, and then a foul. And if that's on Santos, that's three. But we can actually get Cheeks for the foul, his first, and the four team foul. The freeze have let him play. Both teams with four team fouls. You like that. But defensive pressure of Arizona. 
playing pretty as we said in the uh, shot clock. It's the whistle you might have heard in the background. But uh, the defensive pressure of Arizona is more effective. Dayton's had some good looks. They're an excellent three-point shooting team. They have, you know, some shots that they're accustomed to making. They've been un unable to do it so far. I was going to say this afternoon. So far this morning. <laughs> it's still morning, 11.28 local time here in Salt Lake. Bradley in between the circles with 10.50 to go in the first half. His team up 15. Arizona 38, Dayton 23. Love on the right wing. Back 12 player of the year. Tried to fire inside and got it to Crevis who dunks it. Got deflected and still made it to Crevis for the slam. Really fortunate for Arizona, but that's the way this game has gone so far. Matching their largest lead at 17. Holmes left wing. Hoist a three. It's good. Holmes has hit a couple. Boy, he's looked like a pro here in the first half with 12 points. Yeah, if you're wondering whether he can play away from the basket, the answer is yes. 40 to 26. He's carrying Dayton right now. Two he's minutes to go. Somewhat in the game. Love at the midcourt strike, middle of the floor, using a screen, moving left, fires to Larson, who travels. That's his second traveling violation. He tried to pass it low right to Crevis, but Larson walked. Seven turnovers for Arizona. Yeah, exactly. That's the one thing that I'm sure Tommy, Tommy Lloyd is going to talk to his team uh, at halftime about. Either the Dayton faithful or uh, the neutral fans, if you will. They'd love to see Dayton get back in this game. Holmes on the right wing, driving baseline, spins to his left, kicks it out, cheeks, right side, swing Bennett on the left, his three, no good, rebound, Caleb Love with a minute 45 to go, Arizona up 14, Holmes with a great play, breaks up the pass, ahead to Cheeks, driving in, and throws it down, took off from just inside the foul line and slammed it, Dayton back within 12, and Tommy Lloyd calls a timeout with a minute 37 to go in the half. He's talking to Caleb Love, and well he should, Caleb Love was trying to throw about a 40 foot bounce pass which would have looked beautiful but ill advised right now remember we said is it going to 20 or 10 it's 12 and Anthony Grant was pushing his team up saying pick up full court before the timeout nine turnovers by Arizona you're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood one NCAA radio network